What's good, homies? We about to be litty, no cap. You found the Madden plug. Now hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell on. I'm about to put you on. Coin making methods, no money spent tips, budget beats on the 500 bands, 300 bands, 100 bands. Whatever you need, I got you. I got that daily Madden work. Now let's get it. You heard? Another one. I said, hey yo. Hey yo. No shmoney spank gang. We in a building and you know that. What is shaking, y'all? You already know what time it is, man. Holla at me. If you're new to the channel, man, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell the fuck on. We is all the way the fuck lit, you dig? Ah, right, yo, ah, right, yo, let's get to it, man. If you're new to the channel, man, this is what I'm about to do, man. I'm about to show you a grab just like this, my fool, y'all. Grab just like this. And what I do on these grabs, I do this for every single promo. And I'm going through these promos and I'm looking for budget piece. And on these grabs, I compare them to the best card in that position or the most expensive card in that position. So you can see that these budget beasts do stack up statistically. I, 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 whatever, whatever. Shut, man, shut up and get to the cards, right? That's what we're talking about, bro. That's. <laughs> My fault, y'all. Loki, I think I'm a DJ for real. Dumb, are you dumb? Stupid, I'm dumb. Huh? <laughs> nah, no, I was just, just playing with y'all, man. Having fun with it, you dig? Anyways, man, let's talk about it. So, Legends, they dropped three Legends today, man. One LTD and two other Jones. You know what I mean? So, we're going to be talking about both, all three of those cards. Now, when it comes to the first card, it is going to be the Home Ball. Yes, sir. The Home Ball. Derek Brooks. Hold on, hold on, let me see something. All right, my fault, my fault. All right, Derek Brooks, he he did drop today. Now, hold on, let me take a sip of my coffee, y'all. All right, we back, we back. All right, so they dropped the home ball, and he's going for about 500 bands, okay? LTD, Derek Brooks, 500K. You know the slogan, Brody. 500k we ain't gonna pay all right so listen up now the thing with Derek Brooks is when you look at him statistically and I'm gonna show you something and then this is something that I was talking about in other videos okay and this is a perfect example I'm gonna show you guys two graphs okay now look you see his power move 55 right but then when you look down at his uh, defensive coverage you see 91 man 91 zone now, I'm going to pull out four homies to compare to Derrick Brooks, all right? The first one is going to be the homeboy. Where's he at? Is he, is he, he's right there. Okay, we're going to pull out Alex Anzalone, who's going for about 600K, all right? I'm going to show you two graphs, all right? The first one's going to be, eh. Second one's going to make more sense, all right? Next up, we got um, 89 overall. Dave Robinson. I'm going to compare all these dudes on the, on the chart. Now, they did drop a Dave Robinson um, Redux. Where the, where the fuck is homie at? He probably not even out no more. But, where, okay, he's, he's not out there, bro. Oh, no, no, you know what? My fault, my fault. He's a left outside linebacker. Okay? I'm going to tell you something, though. Okay? Dave Robinson, 200K Redux. Do they still have? Yeah, they still. They ain't broke. Bro, quick sell that. Sh stop playing, man. Then you ain't getting no bread. You ain't getting no. No, let me stop. Let me stop being ignorant. All right, so we got who else? Okay, I was trying to find JOK. I don't even know if he's still out there. 
You know who I'm talking about, man. Yeah, I don't think JOK. Oh, no, JOK is right outside, man. But I'm tripping. I'm tripping today, y'all. But that's because I'm going to show you two different graphs. That's why I'm tripping. All right, JOK right here, 75K. I'm going to put all of these dudes on the graph. I'm going to show you right now real quick. All right, I'm going to show you the first graph. The first graph is cool. It's like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, what I want you to look at on this graph is the, the, the power moves and the finesse moves. And this is what I'm talking about, okay? Now, Derek Brooks is six foot. Anzalone is six three. Robinson is six three. And JOK is six two. Now, as you can see, obviously, Derek Brooks, let's talk in blue. Alex Anzalone, Alex Anzalone in red, Dave Robinson in green, and JOK in purple. When it comes to speed, Brooks 91. Anzalone 90. Robinson. 88, JOK 85. Now, JOK is a little outdated, but wait till we get to the second graph, all right? Acceleration, Brooks 87, Anzalone 91, Robinson 85, and JOK 87. When it comes to strength, Brooks 78, Anzalone 77, Robinson 81, and JOK weak as fuck. He can't even carry grocery bags up the stairs, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Yo, shout out to the homie, though. All right, when it comes to block shed, Derek Brooks, 91, Anzalone, 83, Robinson, 90, and JOK, another 61. Man, come on, bro. Someone go air his block the fuck out, man. Shout out to EA for doing them dirty. No, I'm just playing. All right. So, when it comes to power move, all right? Let's pay attention to this. Derek Brooks, 55. Anzalone, 71. Dave Robinson, 66. And JOK is, like, non-existent because JOK's power move is 45. All right? Finesse move. Brooks, 80. Anzalone, 63. Robinson 61 and JOK 59 as you can see man Brooks does have an official finesse move which makes him probably the best and this is what I call them I call them coverage linebackers the reason why I call them coverage linebackers is because I'm going to pull out the second graph now now on this graph you're going to be able to see man coverage and zone coverage you understand what I'm saying plus play rack plus jumping okay we know the speed, we know the acceleration. Now let's look at jumping. Okay, Derek Brooks, 93 jump, Anzalone, 85, Robinson, 92, JOK, 82. Now I understand JOK is outdated, but he is one of those that I consider a coverage linebacker. You know, you get what I'm trying to say? Because these guys ain't focused on finesse moves or power moves. They're more focused on man coverage, zone coverage, play wrecks, and things like that. So, obviously, Dave Robinson and Derrick Brooks are almost identical. Especially when it comes to jumping. When it comes to speed. You know, things like that. So, let's look at play rack. Derrick Brooks, 88. Anzalone, 87. Dave Robinson, 86. And JOK, 84. So, they, uh, JOK still got a decent, decent, you know, play rack. Whatever. He's outdated, bro. But listen. These are the four linebackers in the game that are really focused towards that direction of coverage. You understand what I'm saying? So let's look at man coverage. Brooks, 91. Anzalone, 83. Robinson, 90. JOK, 77. So Anzalone's still not a bad option when it comes to man. 83 is pretty solid, especially for linebackers. If it depends on your... If you're running a lot of zone or you're sending... You put in curl flats or verts or whatever it is on your linebackers. These dudes will be solid for you, bro. You dig what I'm saying? Derrick Brooks. Uh, zone coverage. My fault. Zone coverage. Derrick Brooks, 91. Anzalone, 85. Robinson, 90. And JOK, 85. This is why JOK was so OP in the beginning of this year's Madden. Because he, was, he focused a lot on... Um, so he was good at zone. You know what I'm saying? So if you do if if you know if you put in these linebackers on flats, curls, 
uh, vert hooks, verse, whatever it is, or manning them up to the running back or the tight end. You know, these guys are solid for you. You dig what I'm saying, man? Especially, look. So, Anzalone is a little overpriced, no doubt. But he still has an 83-man, 85 zone with a 90 speed. You dig what I'm saying? Shout out to the Saints. You already know. Saints team team. Highlight me. Um, but Dave Robinson and Derek Brooks would probably be the guys that you would want if you're running, like, a lot of zone and you're putting your linebackers on curl flats, et cetera, et cetera. You dig what I'm saying, man? Anyways. I like this Derrick Brooks card. I can't wait for the for the Redux to come out. I'm going to be looking for it. You already know. A 91 speed, pretty solid. On a deep team, you probably get him up to like a 93. Official tissue, man. Let's get into the next card, all right? Enough talk. I know I did a lot of talking on that one. But anyways, the next card we're going to be talking about is, yo, my man Little. He, he the little, little homie. My man the little, little, little. He's your, he's your little's homie, little homie. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, he's the same height as Tyreek Hill, bro. We're going to be talking about the own ball. What's his name? Mark Clayton. Mark Clayton going for about, damn, 400K. They got the they got the little homie, little homie at 400K. And them dirty, bro. Dirty. Anyway, so we're going to compare him to the most expensive card in the game. And that card is going to be, of course, where's he at? Where's he at? I don't see him. Where's Michael Irving, bro? Did I miss him? <laughs> All right, Michael Irving is going to be the most expensive card in the game right now in wide receiver position. He is going for about, I think he was going for like a milli still. I don't know. I don't know about that one. But anyways, we're going to compare him, Mark Clayton, and we are going to be putting out there the homeboy. Where's he at? Jamar Chase was going for a nice little solid 290K. Pretty solid. Anything on the 300K, I'm with. You smell me? And we're going to be comparing them to DK Metcalf. And where's the, of course, my man D Adams. Both of these dudes going for about 290 This is a nice price right now. Later on in the week, it should go a little bit lower. You know what I mean? So, shout out to them. Let's take a look at the graph, all right? All right, here we go. So, Michael Irving is going to be in blue. And let me just confirm Michael Irving's price because I couldn't... You know, it drives me nuts when I don't know shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, I'm one of those dudes. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta know, bro. Don't be out here keeping secrets on me, Brody. You know what I'm saying? Shit can get you got. All right, he's going for about 1.5 million. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, chill. All right, so Michael Irving in blue, Clayton in red, Jamar Chase in green, per, uh, Metcalf in purple, and D Adams in the baby blue. I am going to give you an honorable mention after this, all right? So, now, when it comes to speed, Irving and Clayton both at 92. It makes Clayton one of the fastest in the game. Um, unfortunately, Michael, uh, Mark Clayton is 5'9". Irving is 6'2". Jamar Chase, 6'0". Metcalf is 6'3". And D. Adams is 6'1". Okay? Now, when it comes to speed, Jamar Chase, 91. Metcalf and D. Adams both at 90. Acceleration. Irving, 88. Clayton, 90. Chase, 87. Metcalf, 90. And Adams, 90. When it comes to catching, Irving, 88. Clayton, 89. Hey, yo, 89. Whoa. <laughs> yo, shout out to the homie. All right. Um, Jamar Chase, 88. Metcalf, 87. Adams, 89. Short route running. Irving, 93. Clayton, 92. Chase, 90. Metcalf, 91. Adams, 90. Medium route running. Irving, 90. Clayton, 89. Chase, 88. Metcalf, 87. Adams, 88. Deep route running. Irving, 90. Clayton, 91, Chase, 90, Metcalf, 92, and Adams, 89. Now, listen, of course, Michael Irving, 1.5, I ain't going to pay that joint. I'll tell you that right now. Hell to the gnaw, bro. Like, that's a body. 
That, that's they seen you coming if you go cop the bowl. Chill. Hey yo, nah nah nah. Nah nah nah. nah. But <laughs> Clayton's stats look good, except he's mad little, bro. 92 speed, 90 excel, 89 catch, 92 short, 89 medium, 91 deep. It's a solid card, bro. You know what I mean? And you can't say that he's not going to turn up because he the same height as Tyreek. So 400K, fuck it. Why not? If you have a Dolphins team team, yo, that's 90. What's that? 94 speed? Chill. Yo, that's wild. Solid card, but you know, he does have an 88, and usually I put the 88 up there, but I feel like right now at at this time in the game, are 89 still viable? You know what I mean? Because you can get this 89 card right here, about 120 bands. You know what I'm saying? 89 speed, 89 jump, 86 spec catches was like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like for me, you need spec catch to be lit, but. He might still be lit, but if you're gonna if you're gonna drop 120 on him, you might as well drop a bag on where's the home boy? You know, you could drop 120 on Tyreek Hill. You know, I don't I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm 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 try, I'm trying to get speed. 90 speed. You know what I'm saying? He got an 83 spec catch, not too great. But if you're gonna buy someone with 89 speed, you might as well get uh Harold Carmichael. Truthfully, that's that's who I would snatch up. You know what I mean? Like, what's Carmichael? Carmichael's ninety. How much is he going for? Oh, yeah. Car, see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I I would stick to these dudes if you're looking for speed. You dig what I'm saying? So, but Clayton's pretty solid. Jamar Chase, Mac. See Jamar Chase, ninety-one speed. He gonna turn the fuck up no matter what. I drop a bag on him. Metcalf and Adams still pretty solid, man. I would cop any one of these cards. Even Clayton, like, yeah, yeah, I don't know. if he was like 200, you know what I mean? Like, not, not at full. Chill, chill. Let's look at uh, the last position that's gonna be strong safety, the home ball, Pat Tillman, who's another little itty bitty, but you know, little guys is fast. I don't know. Y'all tell me what the scoop is, Pat Tillman. 5'11", and we're going to be comparing him and his 88 overall card. Um, Pat Tillman's going for about, what, 430? All right, we're going to be comparing him to his 88 overall card, which is not bad. 104K, not a bad-looking card. You're going to see. Oh, hey, yo, I, was, I wasn't even going to buy it. Chill. All right, and we, to me, the best strong safety in the game we're going to compare him to, which is Hoy Palo Malo, man. And, and and I'm gonna throw in there to me, Ryan Neal's an honorable mention because he's six three. Are you? And his cards is always glitchy, man. So if you want to cop Neal, eighty nine speed, he's official. Um, who else? Oh, I'm gonna throw in there Julian Blackman, one hundred and thirty bands. But you're probably better off with Troy. Just to keep it a hundred with you, all right? So, let's look at the graph so you guys can't see what these guys do stack up next to each other. <laughs> Let me grab some coffee real quick. Hold on, hold on. So, Pat Tillman, the 91 overall is going to be in blue. The 88 overall in red. We got Troy Palomalo in green. And Julian Blackman in purple. Now, when it comes to speed, Tillman, 92. And then everybody else's name mother is at 89. Acceleration, Tillman, 89. Tillman, 87. Troy, 87. Julian Blackman, 89. When it comes to jumping, Tillman, 93. It's OP. Tillman, 91. Troy, 92. Blackman, 88. When it comes to man coverage, Tillman, 80. Tillman, 76. Look at Troy's, 90. Look at Blackman's, 87. Okay? Zone coverage, Tillman, 92. Tillman 88, Troy 91, Blackman 89. I like this. Look, this Blackman card. Look, he's six foot. Troy is 5'10, Tillman is 5'11. You dig what I'm saying, man? Anyways, when it comes to play rec, Tillman 88, Tillman 84, then you got Troy 87, and Blackman 84. I'm telling you, this Blackman card is. is Yo, low-key, 
fire. You know what I'm saying? But I like Troy's jumping at 92 jump. You know what I'm saying? But you can also look at the 88 overall Tillman. Same speed, same excel, but he has a 91 jumping. Man coverage isn't the greatest. Zone is all right. I mean, zone is pretty solid. And play rec is uh. But Blackman is solid across the board. 89 speed, 89 excel, 88 jump, which is not the greatest, but he's still going to get up there. 87 man, 89 zone, 84 play rec. I would, I would prefer probably Troy and Blackman if I had to pick anyone other than 91 overall Tillman. You dig what I'm saying, man? Anyways, that's going to be it for the video, man. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and turn that naughty bell to fuck on your dig. Nigga saying they all suck. They all suck. Send me out, nigga, just rock. Send me out, just rock. Air it out, we'll be a fuck.